Good morning, Lions. Happy Wednesday to you. It is Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. We have no subs in the building today. Um, and your lunch today is fish sticks. Uh, breakfast tomorrow will be a breakfast omelet muffin. And the temperature is still cold outside. We were really, really um, spoiled having those nice warm temperatures stick around so late into December, but now we're regular December temperatures. So your high today is 43. Should increase by about 11 degrees because your current temperature is 32. When you factor in the wind chill, it feels like only 21. Um, so everything's kind of increments of 11 today, if you've noticed. It is partly cloudy, and around lunchtime, you can expect temperatures to be between 37 and 41 degrees. So it's definitely another day to take your coats outside with you. All right. Um, hey, I have been meeting with teachers this week, and we've been looking at your test scores. I am so impressed by the growth that I've seen in so many of you. I want to encourage you this week to keep up that good work. I know we're still dibbles testing. Some of us are taking makeup tests. We have our MAPS test. Set your goal, work really hard. And I wanna remind you, sometimes taking your time to read things over and double check your answers makes a huge, huge difference. These tests are definitely not a race. It's something you wanna take your best um, effort and time to do. So please remember to do that. Um, reindeer. There are five more reindeer hiding throughout the building. I know one of them has already been found. Um, the Gompert girls. I'm not sure which one's going to bring it to the office, but I did see them find one this morning. So remember, once you find one, you need to leave it for other people to find. Or, you know, leave the rest for the other people to find. Um, when you find one, bring it to the office. And if I'm not in here, Kristen or Nurse Sierra, somebody will give you your prize. Um, but definitely bring those to the office when you find them, because if you leave them up, then other people will think that they are still available. Um, staff, today is a day for you to claim a prize. Um, a great staff sticks together. And so today, teachers, you may come and find a motivational, inspirational um, decal sticker that you can um, have for your laptop or your coffee cup or wherever you, water bottles, wherever you would like to put them. All right. So I think, oh yeah, remember yesterday I told you we had a really big surprise for sixth grade. Jackson Hartwig, our sixth grader, won a Chromebook from WNCC because they participated in a survey with WNCC about kids' feelings for going to college. And Jackson's name was drawn and he is the winner of a Chromebook. So we gave that to him yesterday. Um, WNCC came and presented it. So congratulations, Jackson. I'm anxious to hear all about it. All right, other days that you can celebrate today. National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. Um, I know that there are some pretty crazy chocolate covered things out there. I prefer like chocolate covered cinnamon bears. Miss Armstrong's not a fan of them, but they are quite delicious. Um, if you see any chocolate covered cinnamon bears, you pass them my way because I love them. Uh, chocolate covered grasshoppers, maybe Miss Armstrong likes those better than the cinnamon bears. Don't know. Okay, it is Boston Tea Party Day. Interesting, yesterday we celebrated um, Tea Day and today is Boston Tea Party Day. And this one's kind of a silly thing. I'm not really sure who came up with it. It must have been a parent who was going through their child's Christmas list of the things they wanted. Have you ever gotten a toy that you're like, oh, this is the best toy ever, and then you get it and it's like only fun for 15 minutes and then you don't play with it anymore? Maybe that's why this day came across. It's called Stupid Toy Day. I really don't like that word, but that's the name of the day. So there you have it. Okay, we have some things that are not that ST word. Um, so let's talk about some celebrations. Here we go. Madison Solberg has passed addition models. Congratulations, Madison. Uh, and Andrew Wimberly in fourth grade. He is being recognized by Mrs. Martin for his compassion. Andrew took it upon himself to help fix a table in the counseling office when Miss Martin wasn't able to. Thank you very much, Andrew. I heard you even brought your own screwdriver. That was pretty cool. Okay, Brayden Branham. He has passed place value for his ones and tens. Congratulations, Brayden. 
All right, this one goes out to Miss Jessie. She is being recognized by Mrs. Lofink. You stepped up and helped me out so much when I was out sick. I appreciate all your help in my classroom and with my students. So to Miss Jessie from Mrs. Lofink. This one goes to Mrs. Lofink's entire class. Um, she is recognizing their attitude, hard work, teamwork, and respect. I am so proud of my entire class for being so amazing while I was out sick. Every adult I spoke to said each of you were wonderful. Thanks for your greatness. You all rock. Love, Miss Lofink. And I've told you many times, there's nothing better than when a teacher comes back from being sick or out and hearing great things about their, about their class. So third grade, keep it up. And I, I hope that all of the rest of the classes live up to those expectations when their teachers are out as well. This one I received this morning. Emmanuel Soyster um, has completed his addition model. So thank you, Emmanuel, for working so hard. Um, also, thank you for the Christmas gift. I appreciate that. It is Wednesday. You know what that means? It is time for some wisecracks. I had some help from several first graders, I think. So, um, so here we go. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because he had chicks to take care of. That's what a good chicken would do, would go take care of those little chicks. This one, I think that was from Xander. This one is from Brandon. Why did the lion cross the road? To get to the Moral Lion School. Makes sense to me, Brandon. Okay, this one is a second grader. This one comes to us from Carter. Why does the pirate's phone go beep, beep? because he left it off the hook. Nice job, Carter. Okay, this one comes to us from Bentley. Um, why did the toilet paper not get across the road? Because it got stuck in the house. Thank you, Bentley. Um, this one's also from Xander. Why did the house cross the road? Because it needed a nest. Okay, and this one came from Nico when I went down to talk to first grade today. Um, Nico wrote this one, and it's a great one to end on today. What did the right eye say to the left eye? Between you and me, something smells. <laughs> Thank you, Nico, for that joke. I am glad that that's what I ended on. Okay, um, I think that that's mostly everything I have, but, you know, yesterday was Twinkle Day, and I gave you a preview of my mask, but it was not quite ready. Um, I added a little bit more embellishment to it yesterday. Um, still, still has twinkle lights. Um, but everything is better with glitter, right? So, um, not a very practical mask. I don't think I can wash it. Um, it's not bendable, so it kind of hurts my nose. But I could wear it for short periods of time, and it is pretty sparkly and fancy. So, um, thank you to Miss Carlson and Miss Hoff for helping me get all the glitter on there. Um, and I hope you have a very sparkly day and a wonderfully wise Wednesday. Good luck if you're taking tests today. Have a great day, everyone.